Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a woman who wants to know what she can do to get a man to step up and pursue her. This is such a great question. I actually get versions of this question all the time, so hopefully this will be helpful for you if this is something you've been wondering yourself. So I've really found that there's two things you need to do in order to inspire a man to step into his masculine energy and pursue you for a relationship relationship. The first one is that you want to be open and receptive to him when he does show up or when he makes any move to do anything that looks like pursuing you. Like if he calls you up or texts you and asks you out, you want to really be warm and open and receptive to him when he does those things. Because if a man feels like he's going to get rejected or shot down or that he can't get anywhere with you, it's going to be a waste of his time. It's not going to inspire him to pursue you. He might try for a little while, but if you're acting cold and distant or if he just feels like he can't win with you, he's not going to try for very long. Some men try for a little while and then back off if they feel like they're not going to get anywhere. So that's the first thing being warm and open and receptive to a man, it's kind of like reinforcing his efforts, reinforcing his approximations uh, with anything that looks like pursuing you. And uh, it's a great thing, but it's really not enough in and of itself. You also need to know your value and have really strong boundaries and stick to those boundaries at the same time. So knowing your value looks like putting your own heart first. A lot of women can fall into this place where they put their feelings for a man or their desire to be with him ahead of their own desires and boundaries. And they'll kind of break their own boundaries because they're all caught up in how strongly they feel for a man. And if the man gets the sense that you'll kind of just do anything to be with him, it can really uh, decrease your value in his eyes. It's kind of an attraction killer. And even if he was interested in you at the beginning, if a man feels like he can just walk all over you and break your boundaries and you're fine with that, you know, he might pursue you for like a casual situation or to hook up or something like that. But, you know, when it comes to a real committed relationship, men really want to be with a high value woman that they feel they had to kind of work hard to get, if that makes sense. And this isn't a game and it's not a superficial strategy, it's just sort of human nature. Men value what they have to work for, just like we do. And you know, while you're having these strong boundaries and of course keeping them on the inside, not on the outside like these walls that you build up around yourself, it's very important. That might be a great topic for a whole nother video. So if you have any questions about boundaries, definitely let me know in the comments section and we can talk some more about that because it's really important. So while you're having these strong boundaries, you also want to be soft and surrendered on the outside. And that's kind of like this magical combination that really inspires a man to step up and pursue you. Trusting yourself and feeling so strong and secure on the inside, knowing your value, that's what allows you to be totally soft and feminine and open and receptive to a man on the outside. That combination is what makes a man feel really attracted and connected to you and it's what triggers this desire to want to pursue you and lock you down for a relationship. So uh, that's, that's a short answer to this question, how to inspire a man to step up and pursue you. I actually wrote a whole article on this. I'll post a link to that in the comments section and in the description of this video. Um, it's really all about knowing your value and putting your own heart first. And when you do that, it's authentic and everything else just sort of falls into place. Because think about it, if you know your value, you're putting your own heart first, you're not going to tolerate bad treatment, right? You'd instinctively feel turned off if a man wasn't treating you well, or if he wasn't doing what he's supposed to be doing in the relationship, right? So it has to be authentic, it has to be, you know, coming from who you are deep down. It can't be a game or a superficial strategy. It has to be authentic. So if you're interested in checking out that article, I'll post a link to that in the description and in the comments. And of course, if you'd like to dive into these concepts a little further, feel free to check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. It's totally free on my website, HelenaHeartCoaching.com. I'll post a link to that as well. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.